Well, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Iker here looking at free response question number three on probability from 2013. Um, this video will focus mainly on uh, part B, sub point two. What is the standard deviation of X? X is the weight of a single randomly selected grade A egg. So, let's check this out. We were told uh, above that one full carton, which is an empty container plus 12 selected eggs, that the carton has a standard deviation of 7.9. Uh, and then in part B, we're told that the empty carton has a standard deviation of 1.7. And we're told it's reasonable to assume independence. We're told that in two different places. And we're asked, what is the standard deviation of x, which is one single egg? So uh, I'd recommend, just to make sure we're uh, tracking with everything here, um, let's just write it out. We have a full carton. Full carton equals the empty carton plus 12 eggs. Okay, um, so if we want to combine standard deviations here, uh, we really can't add standard deviations. So standard deviation of one plus standard deviation of other. Uh, first, they have to be independent random variables, and we're told that they're independent, so that's good. Uh, but to be able to combine standard deviations of random variables, we need the Pythagorean theorem of statistics. It's going to look something like that. Uh, but before we get there, getting ahead of ourselves there, um, this is the variance, and this is a variance. So the variance of a full carton, we'll say F, is the variance of the empty carton, we'll say E, uh, plus uh, 12 of the variances of a certain egg. Uh, maybe I'll do a lowercase e for egg. So uh, we just have to figure out from this equation um, these different variances. So we're told right here a full carton is 7.9. So the variance would be 7.9 squared. Or the variance is 7.9 squared. And then the variance of an empty carton, we're told right here. So that's 1.7 squared. And each egg is its own random variable, but we have 12 of those, and they're all identical variances. So we have 12 of those variances of E, one single egg. And we basically have to solve this and isolate um, this variance of E right here. Uh, so to do that, uh, get a little more space over here. To do that, we would say... Let's see, we'd subtract this to both sides and we'd divide by 12. So it'd be 7.9 squared minus 1.7 squared all over 12. And that is the variance of E. The variance of E. The variance of one egg. So we would have um, square root both sides, so the standard deviation of one egg is one big square root of 7.9 squared minus 1.7 squared all over 12. So let's calculate that and then uh, maybe we'll work backwards just to make sure our answer makes sense. Uh, I do want to, I guess before we calculate that, I do want to mention um, sometimes students get uncomfortable with this minus right here because they'll say I thought we always added variances when we're trying to combine variances. Um, that's true, we did add the variances here, we did add and we did add. Once we get to this point though, once we get to that equation right there, I didn't like how that looked. Once we get to this equation right there, um, we've added, we've done all of our random variable operations correctly, uh, and then it's just a solve for the variable, solve for the variance e. Uh, and to solve, we would subtract both sides uh, 1.7 squared, and we would divide both sides by 12. 
Okay, so uh, I just want to check out the calculator, calculate this value. We got 7.9 and 1.7. See if I can remember those. All right, so in this first step of my calculator, 7.9 squared minus 1.7 squared, 59.52. Uh, take that answer, divide by 12, I get 4.96. That's the variance of one egg. And then square root that to get the standard deviation is 2.23. Um, now, let's say you're skeptical about that especially with the whole subtracting versus adding. So, um, let's see what we would get if we had uh, 1.7, so an empty carton is 1.7 squared, plus 12 eggs, and the variance of one egg is 4.96 equals. So then that would be the variance of a full carton, the carton plus 12 eggs. So if I square rooted that answer, I should get what? What should I get when I square root this? If my answer is right, if this 2.227105 blah 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 blah, if that's actually right, then I should get an answer of 7.9. And remember that 7.9 is exactly what that right there, that 7.9, um, is that ex exactly what the standard deviation should be. So I would encourage you, uh, now obviously it's a time test and you kind of get you know, stressed out and you want to get the answer and move on, um, but if you're not sure about your answer, say if you got uh, like, say if you got this, oops, um, and let's say instead of that you got an answer of like, 2.33 for your standard deviation, and when we square it, that would be our variance. And then when you square root this answer, uh, you do not get 7.9 for the full carton, the standard deviation of a full carton of 12 eggs. You get 8.2. So something went wrong by doing this approach. So um, this is just to verify that this subtraction right here that some students are uncomfortable with, that, that subtraction uh, is an algebraic subtraction. It's not like we're um, not doing the Pythagorean theorem correctly. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that helps you with 2003, uh, number three, specifically B part two.